Well, it's Friday, May the 7th, and uh, Friday's always a good day. I just mean Sunday's closer, and it's uh, going to be time for us to be able to get back to church. You know, the, this morning I want to talk about a matter of the heart. You know, in Proverbs 7, 24 and 25, it says, Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart uh, decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths. You know, one of the things that the Center for uh, Disease Control uh, in Atlanta, uh, Georgia, does is it tracks different things uh, that can end life. And according to their statistics, more Americans die of heart disease every year than any other single cause, than anything that we have. Now, nobody keeps similar to statistics on like spiritual uh, tragedies, but if there were, it'd certainly be problems of the heart that, that cause people to, to fail. I know in my life, whenever things have come up and, and, uh, and I've drifted from God, it's always been a, a problem uh, of the heart. And, you know, whenever that happens, you know, hard times always, uh, always follow. And we see this truth illustrated in the life of Solomon. And, you know, God gave him great wisdom. He, he asked God, told him, ask what you would, what you would like. And he asked for wisdom to judge his people. And God gave him even more than that. He had wisdom, wealth, power. Um, and when he was young and he, he uh, built the, the temple, I mean, in the youth, he worshiped, he valued God when he was younger um, and built this magnificent temple in Jerusalem. But uh, he disobeyed the word of God in later years by taking many wives from foreign nations. And the reason God had warned him against that is because that would bring in um, more things uh, that would take away from God. And they would be bringing in their religions and they would bring in, bringing in their beliefs. And it eventually uh, it did just that. Uh, over time, they destroyed, <coughs> excuse me, they destroyed um, his allegiance to God. Uh, it says, for it came to pass when Solomon was old uh, that his wives turned away his heart. Uh, after other gods, and his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God, and uh, as was the heart of David his father in First Kings eleven two. You know what goes on in the heart uh, just can't be concealed uh, forever, and uh, you know sooner or later uh, it'll be apparent in our our actions uh, what's in our heart. You know I always told people. You know my grandfather used to say that uh, he'd say whatever's uh, in the well is going to come up in the bucket. And, uh, and that's the way it is with our heart. You know, whatever's down in our heart, it's going to come up. Uh, that's what, what's uh, going to be seen. But Jesus said, for out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murderers, adulterers, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemy. He says that in Matthew fifteen nineteen. And so if we love God uh, as we should, if we're keeping the things, as Pastor Aaron says, if we're keeping the things of God in our heart, we're dwelling those at time uh, with with God's word. And we're doing that with, with godly, good godly music. We're doing it with oh, God-honoring music. We're doing it with all of these things, devotions and, and witnessing and things like that. When we do that, there's not going to be time for the other things in the world. And really, when we, when we sit down and we start getting idle, uh, that's really the times, the dangerous times. Uh, we need to keep the things of God uh, before us. Uh, and keep that. Uh, John, uh, he issued a warning to the church at Ephesus uh, in Revelation uh, 2 4. And he says, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Do we still love God the way we used to? You know, that's something you really got to stop and, and look at. You know, have I drawn in my years? Am I closer to God now than I was last year? Am I closer to God than I was last week? If not, something's wrong. If not, it's a matter of the heart. And I just need to get that heart. I need to keep the things of God before me. I need to keep his word in my heart. I need to I need to talk to God. I need to tell people about God. I need just to keep busy and keep the things of God before me. And if I do that and I guard my heart and I do those things, then, then the blessings of God will be there and be readily available. So just keep that in mind. It's a matter of the heart. And how's your heart checkup today? You just have a great day and a great weekend. Thanks.